Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, and we're taking a look at the upcoming DLC for Total War Rome 2 Rise of the Republic. The DLC should be releasing on the 9th of August, and I'm going to try and get you daily content between now and then, kicking off a campaign as Rome. This playthrough will also include all of the new additions that came about recently, from God Rays to Family Trees, so I'm hoping for a good time rediscovering this game. Now, if you're planning on picking up the DLC, consider doing it through the Humble Bundle affiliate link I've provided uh, in the description down below, and it's under the eye at the top right corner of the screen as well. It supports the channel and it also helps charity. Now, fun fact before we start, I actually haven't lost a single battle in Rome 2 since 2015. Fun fact number two, I haven't really played Rome 2 since 2015, so let's just see how smooth a ride this will be. We're gonna go in hard mode. Again, I hate going too high up because the AI just cheats and that's not fun anymore. Initial challenges roam is hard as well, so should be a good time. Enough of an introduction. Let's get this show on the road and try to form the SPEQR. Soldiers of Rome, we have traveled far together down a path none of our choosing. Fate and the cruelty of man compelled each of us to draw our weapons, stand back to back, and defend our lands against the common foe. We did not seek this war, yet it is our homes that burn, our allies massacred, and our leader Rutilus that lies slain, butchered by a desperate enemy as their city fell. It is clear that evil left unchecked will always find Rome. The Samnite dead still litter the field. Yet already, new threats loom and menace our borders. Greeks on our very shores plot to strip us of our lands and livelihoods. Eastern peoples from across the sea construct mighty empires whilst we feud with our neighbors. Barbarians seek to plunder our homes and villages. Our fight is for our way of life, and it has only just begun. With the favor of the gods, we shall forge our destiny together. For Rome! Rome is at war. The Etruscans of Veii have been our enemies for many years, and since peace is out of the question, we must bring them down by force of arms. The proud Volsci of Latium are carefully observing the conflict, and will undoubtedly strike should we provoke their ire. In such a conflict, we might try to ally with the Hernesi. Meanwhile, rumor has it that a new threat is stirring beyond the lands of the cowardly Sabines and docile Umbri. Be mindful, yet brave. May Mars watch over you. All right, let's get this show on the road. So a quick caveat as we get started. This is still an early access build. Of course, it has been given to me uh, by Creative Assembly, so I've gotten it for free, of course. Um, and as it is early access, there might be a couple bugs here and there. There are a couple of visual glitches they've already, uh, they're already aware of. So just keep that in mind as we go through this playthrough in case there's a little bit of glitchiness here and there. Now, let's see. Objective issued. It has been 10 years since military hostilities began between us and the Etruscan city of Vey. Situated very close to each other, we have been rivals for more than a century. We cannot share power and influence with these people anymore. Only one can prevail. Truly, only one. Only one can prevail. All right, hold two provinces in their territory. All right. Uh, instead of changing government types, Rome has access to elections that enable yeah, point, consuls or dictator. The city of Rome itself, although relatively young, is very well defended and capture of the fortified Capitoline Hill requires an enemy to defeat the Romans in two separate battles in order to capture the city. Beautiful. All right, so there's, uh, there's the enemy and their province has just two settlements. So basically it means eliminate them and that is the first objective. All right, that sounds simple enough. Here is our glorious Rome, Roma, as it were, and here is our first army. Now, typically, I take suggestions for uh, names and editing names of uh, armies and whatnot, and I will be doing that for my legions as I play through this campaign, but uh, I, rather so. Make sure you give me those suggestions down below in the comments as we go forward uh, so we can you know, properly distribute glory and remember 
the deeds of our soldiers. Now, first things first, let's upgrade our military capabilities because... Because. And over here in Ostia, let's get ourselves some more food going and some money as well. Money makes the world go around. Uh, I could take some... What's public order like? Public order is negative one. That's fine, because what we're going to do is, if I remember Rome correctly, I can pop this, and then we should be able to get an edict down here that helps with public order. There we go. Four food and four public order, so that sounds good to me. Tax rates. Right now, we're making 1536 a turn. That'll drop pretty quickly as we start recruiting more units, but uh, we're okay for now. We're okay for now. We'll start making more money as we take Sisera and Vey over here. So, first things first. Marcus Fusus. Let's get you into here. Military training. All right. And let's also recruit some units, please and thank you. Let's go in and get ourselves some Latin tribesmen, Roman light hoplites, or hoplites, hoplites, Latin spearmen, and Ascensi. Good range on these guys. 150. Is that considered good range? What have you got? I don't know. All right, fine. You know what? Here's what we're going to do we're going to recruit a couple of you. And we're going to recruit a couple of you. Or one of you, I guess, because I'm a little broke. That's fine. All right, let's get some research going as well. And let's get ourselves, let's see, plus one recruitment slot for all provinces. That's not a bad thing to kick off. And over here, plus 5% tax rate. Let's do that. Make some more money, as I said earlier. It makes the world go round. And I think that is that. Is that, that, that's it. That's our first turn. Early campaign is always so strange. Takes some getting used to. All right. So I don't know how many of you are familiar with Rome 2, how many of you joined the Total War family with uh, Warhammer or Warhammer 2, but uh, this is Rome 2, and uh, it's all about Rome and the surrounding area. <laughs> I really don't know what else to, to say. All right. all right, right, Oh, man, I remember when events came up like that. It's been so long. I think we could probably roll into Sisra right now, actually. How much of a garrison could they possibly have? It's a small settlement. It doesn't have any walls or anything, it seems like, so we could probably roll right in with this army and begin hostilities immediately. Such is the Roman way. We must move quickly. Let's go. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, we're going to break the siege and pull back. Such is the Roman way. Let's just uh, pull into the safety of Ostia over here. That'll help public order as well. And let's continue to recruit next turn so we have a better chance. And we'll have more money as well. So, yeah. It's quite, uh, quite the balance of power. All right, one more turn is not going to be the end of the world for me. Ah, Carthage. Old allies of Rome. All right, Romulus and Remus. We are Roman citizens first and foremost. I've completed my technological research. Oh, good job, Marcus Fusus. Let's level you up here, buddy. And let's see, what can we do to our agent over here? We've got, um, <laughs> great. Okay, extra melee attack for heavy infantry. Melee defense, morale. <laughs> Arsonist, okay, great. Intimidating, reduced morale for enemy units. That's not bad at all. Siege expert, I like the sound of that. Explorer or drill sergeant. You know what? We're using him as a drill sergeant right now, so let's go down that path for now, and we'll level that up as uh, opportunity presents itself. Meanwhile, let's also recruit some more units. There we go. And I could have probably dove in there with some mercenaries, actually, but it's okay. One turn isn't the end of the world. Let's get ourselves some more hoplites, and should we get some fodder tribesmen? Am I pronouncing that right? Fodder. All right, there we go. Could upgrade this as well for some more food and money. 1,700. We've got 1,346 coming in next turn. Not a problem. Let's go. Uh, oh, right. Tech. Of course. Of course. Uh, let's go ahead and research this as well so we're all caught up. Actually, what we could do is get ourselves... Ah, uh, let's go with this. Stick with this. All right, cool. Three turns. That's not a problem. Of course, one of our benefits as playing as Rome is we get faster... Research rate, How I believe it was 10%. Like defeat commemorated? An arch or a nice column? Why are we doing this? Of your enslaved people? Why are we doing this right now? I'm, I'm at war to the north already. I don't need war to the south as well. Okay, fair enough. It's okay, I'll take you both on. It's gonna be a nice uh, Roman sandwich. Wreck your days. All right, let's move in. I think we should be big enough right now to deal with this. Wow, that is still not in my favor, but I don't buy it. I should be fine here. You know what? 
What's life without some risks? I should be okay. Let's take this to the battlefield and show them the Roman way. All right, let's uh, go ahead. Dry weather sounds good to me. Start deployment. No need to limit myself in any way. And let's get our men ready. Uh, I have activated the debug camera, by the way. It's the same way to do that for all uh, Total War games. Well, all recent Total War games. So I have done that. We're going to come in from the side over here, I think. Nice open spaces. Don't want to come in this way. Don't want too much city fighting. So we're going to come in from the side here. Some tree cover as well. And let's just, well, form up. Let's see. We could send our skirmishers in first. Just to get that initial little bit of damage done. Looks like there's an obstruction over here, which is annoying. Not the end of the world. We're going to push up anyway. And let's get ourselves... Let's see. We've got these Roman swordsmen. Here's what we'll do. We'll get a center of spears. Yeah, they do say hoplites. I was right. I knew it. There we go. So hoplites in the center. Swords to the side. And then we'll have these supplementary spears. The centurae. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. Back here. Uh, we've got... Let's get you guys grouped up. All of you grouped up. And we'll get you off to the side over here. Uh, let's get you coming in from over here, actually. More clear space for the cavalry to maneuver. And let's make sure you're not... Yeah, you are in guard mode and you're not in skirmish mode. Excellent. And you guys. I mean, sort of, sort of fodder troops. I'll send them in from the flanks. Maybe they'll get some extra morale damage into the enemy. All right. And let's get the show on the road. The review panel. Thank you. What have we got here? Nothing worthwhile. We'll be okay. We could turn around and engage this nonsense first. Ah, I, was, I think I was missing out on a speech. It's okay, we're pulling back, rotating, we'll deal with this nonsense first, and then we'll deal with all of this. They've got some spears. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be okay. Pull you back a little bit. We've got light spearmen coming through. Those javelins are coming in. Oh no, we've already lost a couple Romans. Come on, men! Faster! Okay, you should be able to fire away shortly. Come on, make make your landfall here. Go ahead, I dare you. We'll be fine. Our hidden units have been discovered. Want to fire here instead? Thank you very much. Yeah, we should be fine. These are just spears. We'll be okay. Our swords will take care of them. Why are you moving that far forward? Pull back. Let's get our swords up. Yeah, I just want to take care of this, like, units have been discovered. flanking move first. Let's go. Come on, men. Charge them. For Mars! Alright. Impressive uphill charge over here. Oh, that guy got shanked real hard. Go away, man. There we go. Turn around and fire away. Scare off these archers if we're lucky. We've got these swords coming through. Wow, your range is supposed to be a lot better than you're treating it as. Pull back, pull back. Oh, there we go. That's already taken care of. Push on through. Oh, they're nothing against my Roman might. Send these swordsmen up. They don't even look like they're full strength. Oh, they're just 45. They don't look too eager. You can call them eager as much as you want. All right, here we go. They're going to get stuck in. What else do we have over here? What are you doing? Pull back, damn it. Just giving chase. Falling apart like fools. Right, at least these ones are wise enough. Firing in the right direction. How quickly are they do dropping? Quickly enough. Alright, can we please now turn around and fire at these archers? From where you're standing. I guess it's because of the arch of the hill here. Fine, let's move up. Pull there instead. These guys are taken care of. Systematically eliminating. Get push in. Get these guys off to the side so they can rear charge. Yeah, we'll be good. Intercept this nonsense. Put you guys a little bit further back. Let's go. These guys are just standing there looking pretty. Alright, we're good over here. I've also got the, uh, the little option to hide foliage when we're nearby. Kind of regretting it now. It'd be nice to see the trees as we fight among them. There we go. I'll be able to fire. Let's pull you back. We are firing away. And they are starting to die. Come on. Show me some death. 
Whoa, they're cussing. They gotta be demonetized in here. Call each other names like that. Yeah, they're not gonna last very long. They're just mere archers. Not even gonna make it off the boat. Why are you making it off the boat? Just turn around and leave. You fools. Alright, yep, we've won this initial engagement, it looks like. Taken minimal hurt. These guys have taken the most hurt. It's because they presented themselves rather foolishly. And now we can't fire here. Let's go, let's go. Turn you around over here. Boat's backing away, and these guys are still waiting to be slaughtered. Still just waiting. It takes so much getting used to this old camera style. I'm so used to the uh, fluid camera, the cinematic camera they added in Warhammer 2. I'm glad to see that it's in Three Kingdoms from what we've seen so far. It looks like Three Kingdoms very much has it. Alright, we should get ready to form up again. As soon as we've taken care of this, I suppose. Pull you back here. Fire on their backs. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Thought you stood a chance. Centuries of fighting this? We should have wiped them out centuries ago. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, there we go. There's that blood and gore. That's what I came down here for. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Alright, good times. Think we can form up now? The yes. General is dead. Oh, already? That was, that was quick. Okay. Come on, men. The battle is not yet won. Get you over here. Get you over here. I love that these, like, fodder troops are the ones that are at, at their healthiest. Okay. Let's get our general up over here. Coming for some side charges. There's some ranged units over here. Some skirmishers, slingers. More skirmishers. Just gotta wipe them out. Alright, alright, we're okay. Speed things up a little bit. We do have 60 minute battles, by the way. Just just how I like it. 60 minute battles. Yeah, these slingers took a bit of a beating. Or sorry, I keep on the slingers. A sensei. A sensei? A sensei. Correct me. I'm, I will gladly be corrected. I always seek to learn how to say things correctly, so if you actually know how it's supposed to be pronounced, let me know. Alright, come on, men. Yeah. Oh, man. I love this camera. I believe it was Rome, too, where they first added this camera. All right, enough, enough of this. Sorry, I shouldn't waste my time on this, like, petty battle. Let's go. Almost within range. We can pull forward a little bit more. Should be able to crush right through all these markets. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem. And we can start firing away at these slingers first, I think. Ah, these guys will be in range first. I'll do that instead. What are you going to try and do? Like, coming from the side? Really? Let's go in here. Finish that off. Alright, let's hit the slingers first. You all moving forward. I mean, don't even need to do that. We're going for a charge. I'll see what this looks like. Not really paying attention to my battle lines here or anything. Alright, here we go. Give me a nice charge. Give me something glorious. You know what? That was pretty good. <laughs> That's the kind of charging I kind of want to see in my historical games. Not too over the top. The right amount of, like, push and shove. Keep firing away over here. Let's get these guys involved as well. Going for a nice rear charge. Cause that morale damage that we love to cause. Let's pull you back over here. Turn all of you around. Taking shots into our sides and dying pointlessly. There we go. These guys should give up shortly. They're falling apart. Got another charge coming in over here. Ah, that one wasn't as impressive. I think we got slowed down by this tree or something. Nonetheless, all that range support has been shut down. There's some spears back here. These guys are being scared off. They should almost be done. Let's send you guys up this way. Send them around back. Maybe engage these spears as well nice and early. Come on now, there we go. Drop your flags, you fools. The men are wavering. The men are wavering. Oh, these men. Come on now, don't be so pathetic, tribesmen. Oh, okay. They're being pathetic. Turn around and fire. 
Wow, and this clump as well. Push you right through. Push you in here. All right. They're doing okay, but the Slinger Fire is coming in now. That should start taking care of them. Is this guy the only one left? No. He's just a part of this clump. He's fallen behind. The battle is turning in our favor. Yeah, you think? <laughs> the battle's been in our favor. We're gonna get some nice rear charges here, and that should be the end of this clump. Right, keep firing. It's too bad we couldn't get everybody behind. Could get them in a better angles, though. There we go. Some rear charges should shut this nonsense down. Nice and easy. Come on, men! For glory. Alright, here we come. Are they ready for me? They can never be ready for me. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Alright, give up. No when it's over. This entire mosh pit over here. Call it a day already. Come on now. These swordsmen are wavering. A couple of good shots. A couple of good range shots will break them up. There we go. Excellent. Give up. Too many good Romans are dying today. Let's get the cavalry involved. Let's get our general in here. And maybe let's inspire somebody. If I'm not mistaken, that gives melee buffs as well. Yeah. Let's inspire our hoplites. Let's go. Come on now. And they're falling apart. They're falling apart. Swordsmen are shaking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, uh, they're all just breaking. Not even gonna get a charge in. <laughs> so close, so close. This guy right now is that's oh, <laughs> that's that should be brown. All right, end that battle. Victory is ours. We don't need to continue. Decisive victory. Excellent. Um, yeah, we don't need to continue that. It's a settlement battle. Ah, yeah, that balance of power was way off. 118 kills, 133, 229 kills. All archers and slingers and stuff, though, so that's okay. 103 kills on these boys. Beautifully done. Wow, ranked up twice on one of them. Oof. All right, Sisera is ours. We will simply occupy it, I think. I'm not too desperate for money compared to public order being a potential problem. We all know how I feel about public order issues, so let's just occupy Good job, Marcus Furious Camillus. Let's level you up as well. Again, always open for name suggestions, so feel free to drop them down below. Now, what do we have here? Uh, commander, strategist, or warrior? What does this stuff like lead us to? You know what? I think I'm going to go down the commander path. Take a quick look, take a quick look. Okay, okay. So we're going to go down the left path. Eventually, what's this? Tactician campaign movement. Okay, upkeep cost for non-mercenary units, replenishment rate. Oh, I might actually want to go down strategist. Uh, sure, let's do that. Let's go down the strategist path. Okay, negative 22, but that shouldn't be for too long. That should just be... Negative 20 is just next turn, and then instability will drop. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I do need to replenish, and it'll take a long time to replenish. How, how long will this take? Three turns. Jeez. We are able to get some Etruscan spearmen just to supplement this army. Because I, I think... Oh, here we go. There's no Vey. I'll be taking this settlement without a full stack, I think. Actually, it's pretty early in the game. I should be fine. Let's, uh, let's recruit some anyway. We're making enough money. These will be our uh, Etruscan fodder troops. That's that's what they'll do. They'll hold the line, allowing our Roman sword swordsmen to come from the flanks. Uh, do I wish to? Yes. And perhaps we get ourselves something to help public order and growth. Money. Hmm. What is our growth rate here right now? Four. I could do with a little faster growth rate. I like the idea of uh, of this as well, though. Money and, and public order. Now, let's go with the uh, the canal. Sure. And that will be our turn. Oh, a glorious turn it was. We've taken another city. In the name of Rome. Oh, here they come. All right, we're still fine. We're still fine. We're not dead yet. Any minute, though. All right, let's upgrade you one more step over here. Again, it'll just help. Let's see. Melee, attack, and defense for the commander unit, and then experience per turn. Or we could go down with something else. So this is all at rank 4, and then this is all at rank 6. Fair enough. I could do this. That's just for the agent. 
You know what? I'll I'll go with the siege expert because we're about to go in for a siege at Vey. So I might as well do that. Now we're not fully replenished here, but I feel like I want to... Oh dear, this is not good. That's a full army, though a lot of it are low-tier tribesmen. What's our deal here? I should have come back and recruited some uh, some Italian cavalry or something. Now I could let them roll back and take Sisera and then have to take it again. I do have to convert all of this, actually, now that I've taken the time to check. I wouldn't want to die over here. I could pull back into Rome. Or I could pull out and fight. How bad could this be? Here's what we'll do. You there. Let's send you in. Let's assassinate. Oh dear. Only a 12% chance of being wounded, so that's okay. We might level up and increase our chances down the line. So let's go. Come on, baby. Oh. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, hey, that worked out. And now let's move in and attack. We are courageous men. We will kill them. Oh, we'll kill them way too easily. Should I just auto-resolve this one? I don't know how much I can trust the AI when it comes to auto-resolving, but uh, we're going to have to. And we'll play... I'm tempted to do balance stance just for the remaining force number, but we're, we're going to go ahead with the aggressive stance. I've always loved those animations. Close victory. We lost far too many men. I should have fought that myself. And we will also enslave the captives, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. I will not release them. All right, military traditions for Legio 1 Alaude, whatever that means. Someone help me out here. Someone help me out here. But let's get ourselves our first tradition. Uh, barbarian subjugators for melee attack and defense for oh, against barbarian tribes. Okay. It's all barbarian stuff. Stalwart defenders. Ooh, extra barricades, fireball, spectre. I like that. And accomplished skirmishers for the extra missile damage. I mean, we are very missile heavy right now, so we might as well go with this for now. Makes sense. It's fitting. Again, many of you, any of you who are new to this channel might not know that I am. Uh, I take a roleplay approach uh, to as much as possible. And what that means is when it makes sense to, I... Oh, man say we wrecked his day by getting his foot, but then we killed him, so we wrecked his day by killing him. No! These Latin tribesmen. They have fallen today. All right. Well, uh, enslave the captives. So yeah, I like to role play. so any decisions I make, I try to make it fit the story, as it were, of our soldiers and of our people. Now, if I leave Sisra open, we might get hit, but I think I want to pull back to Rome and recruit some of those cavalry units we just unlocked. So let's pull back over here. Two turns to full replenishment for some of these units, so that's good. We've got another level up over here. Let's go ahead and get the campaign movement range, I think. When general. Yes, please. And let's recruit. There we go. Some Italian cavalry. And some Roman swordsmen. Because the Roman swordsmen, melee attack is 24, weapon damage is 34, and the hoplites, or not even the hoplites, but the, uh, yeah, the hoplites, 20, 26... Versus 2034, yeah. Now the defense is 45 versus 39, yeah, of course, spears versus swords. Uh, and this takes us to 19 out of 20. I want to... Got enough money, so we might as well get some more Latin tribesmen, and then we'll blend these tribesmen with... Do we have another unit? Did we lose one? suppose we did. <laughs> Shows you how much I care for our uh, fodder troops. Alright, that's the turn. Let's make some money. We'll push back out shortly, and uh, we'll take Vey. We can do a little bit of scouting as well. That cooperation rather than hostility would serve us both well in the trying days ahead. I agree. What I don't agree with is you asking for money. How about instead you give me money? Okay, 500 is not going to work. Didn't think it would. Can I not... Come on now, really? Fine, let's just go with a non-aggression pact. Cool. Let's... Uh, we're already fighting on two fronts. Let's keep it at that. Oh, there we go. They're just gonna roll in. That's fine. We didn't spend any money on it or anything. That's fine by me. We're decently replenished. We can actually roll right back in and eliminate the stone men. The thing about stone is it's very easy to chip away. All right. Move in. 
Auto resolve this. Better not lose too much. Fight aggressively. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. And simply occupy again. I don't want to deal with too much public order struggles here. We're replenishing two turns. Four turns for these cavalry. Oh dear. It's a long time. Let's send Marcus Fusus here up front just to scout what's going on at Vey. Not much. Not much. We can actually sabotage. Um, you know, 50% chance is not bad. It's not too expensive either. Let's go ahead and do it. Really? You can't succeed on a 50% chance, but you can succeed on like a 5% chance? Okay, sure. You do you, man. You do you. I'm wondering if I want to pull back to Rome next turn. Well, I'm a 20 stack already. I could blend these cavalry units and then get another one. It'll take two turns. Or I could just push in aggressively. They can't have too much of a garrison here. We'll, 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 we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Nope. Need to research. If I don't, then we won't be fine. And let's see. What do we have here? Cavalry charge bonus. Melee attack for cavalry units. More damage by, oh, by all army units and more armor. I like the sound of that. <laughs> During battles against Italians. Just the way that's worded is a little funny. Uh, more booty. Morale. Siege. Oh, campaign map. Movement range. I do like that. Or do we go back and uh, get something over here? I remember when I used to play a lot of Rome, I would always neglect the civic stuff. <laughs> it's just always hungry for blood. Uh, let's, on that note, go ahead and get the extra armor and weapon damage. That just sounds extremely valuable. And that's the turn. Alright. Ah, these, these fast turns at the beginning of a campaign. Such joy. Ah, interesting. Yeah, there is no way I will be accepting this. Your My choice makes, makes a lot of sense, man. Relax, I'll show you how it makes sense in just a minute. All right, let's push in, I think. I mean, we're decently healthy. We can put them under siege, at the very least. And, uh, yeah. Oh, really? Really? We're just short? You gonna do that to me? So... Onward. I guess we could push in next turn, then. Let's stay out over here, and we can put ourselves in fortification stance, just in case something goes wrong. Get those that should help out. That should help out. And we are able to upgrade. I'm I'm expecting to see upgrade um, icons and all. All right, let's see. Public order per turn. Growth per turn as well. Our public order right now is pretty shoddy. So I wouldn't mind fixing that. This gives us public order, growth, wealth from agriculture, which we do have. And security against agent actions. So sure. Let's go with the water tank. And over here, we could upgrade our city as well. We've got more than enough food right now. Extra money. Bigger garrison. 1,800. Let's do it. Our income's dropping a little bit. Hopefully these constructions will help counteract that. All right, that's the turn. Hopefully next turn we can roll right in and destroy our enemies to the north before our enemies to the south I get too eager. Some spare gold around here somewhere. Yeah, you can keep your spare gold. I'll be taking it in just a moment's time. Do not fear. Oh. Okay, that was fast, which is always nice to see. We could try that again. Settlement sabotage, a 50% chance. Come on, buddy. You've got this. I have faith. There we go. Deaths of many guarding soldiers. That should be helpful. Yes, we are at war. Now, over here, do we start replacing some of these buildings? Man, I don't have the money for it. Right, that's fine. Once we roll in here, we should be okay. A regular stance, please, and... How bad could this be? Oh. Not at all, apparently. Not at all. So do we go with uh, some siege towers? I think we go in with some siege towers. We could wait two turns. I can wait two turns. Only one is built. Oh, man. Sure, let's continue the siege. It'll take three turns until they just retreat. See if we can do that instead. I don't know if I have the patience for it, to be perfectly honest, but... Fewer lives lost mean we can go down south quicker. Look, stop it. Oh my god. How naggy could you be? Oh, crap. We're gonna lose Ostia. <laughs> There's no way we're holding this back. Oh, we do have this army over here. What do they have? Italian spearmen, swordsmen. You know what? 
that is really not in favor of us at all, but I would be a fool not to at least try. So, to the battlefield we go to try and defend Ostia. Let's see what we can do here. All right. That's our fleet, which will very quickly be coming back here. They're only attacking by sea. So if I can form up quickly enough... Oh man, we have a small army. Ah, oh, this is gonna be... this is gonna be trouble. Don't want to pick a fight at sea. I want to pull back as quickly as possible for sure. We'll, like, land over here and run in, or, I mean, we could land over here. And you guys, let's get you all set up. We've got our spears and swords. We can at least cause damage, so when we return from Vey, we'll be able to take it back easily. I had a feeling they would get involved soon. I was just about to say as well, I was like, mm, it's funny, they declared war on us, but they haven't done anything about it. Now, I could pull up front and fire away from the safety of, like, these rocks and all. Hope that they'll go down this funnel and I can get damage done. We could try that. This is as close as we can get. Let's try it. And then hopefully as they engage over here, we'll be able to fire into their backs, and that would be excellent. All right, good stuff. And we'll drop you guys right away as well. We've got some more swordsmen in there. Let's do it. When in skirmish mode, troops avoid getting into melee by keeping their distance from the enemy and attacking with arrows, javelins. I'm aware. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Guard mode on. They're coming. They're coming. Yes, they are. All right. We're fine. And the enemy will break and Can we scatter. land? We will Please? make them regret challenging the might of Rome. Rude and ready. I swear to God, if they don't land. <laughs> oh dear. Is this how we're ships waiting? Ships waiting, Commander. This doesn't work for me. They're coming through. My other option is to try and stop them at sea now, because if we're not landing, then what's the point of trying this over and over again? That's the definition of insanity. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Let's line up right at the beach here. I think they're all going to be coming down that way. Some might push off to the side, but speed it up. See what they decide to do. Uh, who do we want to get rid of, if possible? What's the unhealthiest ship out here? They're all the same, aren't they? They're all the same. All right, let's just roll in and take care of, sure, these Latin warriors. Assault ships reporting. Support ships ready and waiting. Let's go. Ships at your command. And let's try and get rid of get out there. these slingers. Assault ships ready let's get you over orders. here. Support ships at your command and awaiting Pull back. Orders. Assault ships ready to attack. Let's go. No, not there. Here. Our general is under attack. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware. Oh, down goes that ship. Excellent. That works for me. These guys as well. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh no. Why are we giving up? Let's go. Let's go. Fine, go that way then. Whatever we need to do. Alright, we're firing away from over here. Try and get rid of... Sure, Italian swordsman, that sounds good to me. Ah, we're falling apart now. Let's push right through. Are we firing? We are. Our men flee the field of battle. I'm aware. This is a shameful display. How are we doing here? Killing a fair number of these swordsmen. Turn back around over here. No, 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 no. Don't get shot up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, men. Our men flee the shameful field indeed. This Let's go. Is a shameful display. Go. Ram this ship, damn it. Let's focus in on these Italian swordsmen. Try and eliminate them. Got a good hit into these Italian spearmen. Please do a fair bit of damage. Ready for orders. 
Oh man, these guys are going to fall apart. That's okay, though. If, if I couldn't land, perhaps they can't land either. Our men flee that would be funny. Of battle. This is a shameful display. That would that would be hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like they're forming a blockade rather than actually attacking us. Alright, continue firing away. We're taking some damage, so let's pull back. Faster, men, faster. Oh, they're just changing their approach, I think. Go, 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 go. You can't just die out there, come on. Alright, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Range on these guys. Let's go. Oof. Still firing away at our poor, uh... Soldiers back there. Alright, let's turn around and fire. Come on now. Give me some sweet action. This is funny seeing the stones just hopping off their shields. Should be getting some shots to their sides as well. Should be able to drop some of them. <laughs> Literal rocks just bouncing off. Ah, got that guy. Alright. Alright, how are we doing here? Sure, we're, we're getting kills. We're getting kills. Uh, here they come. They're going to be able to land, aren't they? Of course they will. Swords for swords. Let's go. These are what? Spears. We'll be able to eliminate the spears very quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Still having a good time back there? Yes, we are. Wondering if I should save some of that ammo, actually. There we go. We will fight at the beaches. Come on, man. Alright. Let's make quick work of them, please. How are we doing here? What are you firing at? What are you doing? You're just... <laughs> popping shots into the water there. Jeez. All right, these guys have already given up. These guys are also already giving up. We've got some more Latin warriors coming through. They'll maybe be more trouble. Who knows? Perhaps. These empty boats leaving. Oh my god, is this... All of this beach to land upon? And my city planners have created this gorgeous funnel and you have fallen for it. This is why we will be victorious. Push in. Let's just try and finish these guys off as quickly as possible. I might actually speed it up a bit. You know what? Let's pull up and fire into their backs. There we go. Should be able to get a decent angle. We will be within range of these slingers, unfortunately. Let's try from there. Let's see if we have better chances there. Okay. There we go. I feel like most of these shots are just flying over top. Come on now, start to die. Fine, a little bit more then. Now these spears are the next to drop, it seems. Fair enough. Just want to get that angle right so we can get rid of these Italian veteran swordsmen. Wouldn't want to fight them on these beaches. No, sir. Okay, that should be a good enough angle. We should be hitting their backs now. Surely they do not know to turn around and point their shields the other way. Those slingers are starting to fire at us, though. So let's see if we get some good hits in here. It looks better. Killed four of them. Oh, it's so much. We're taking so much range fire. Men flee the field yeah, I, of I see it. This is a shameful display. Sons of Mars! Wonder if we'll make quicker work of the slingers. Speed it up. Nah, this is just not working for us. Let's pull back. Just not working for us. 
All right, well. Is this really how we're gonna do this? Like, like lamb to the slaughter here. Sheep. Italian sheep. They have a lot of sheep in Italy. Looks like they do. But they like getting slaughtered. We might as well just fire. Right? Might as well. See if we can't scare them off. Oof, look how quickly we defeat them. They do not stand a chance against the might of Rome. This is where I regret having 60 minute battle timers. One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Nice weather we're having. Duh. It looks swelteringly hot here, much like it is across the world right now. Units has used all its ammunition. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm probably going to uh, run down this timer and win this battle. But you don't have to watch me do 40 minutes at three speed. So... I'll see you guys on the flip side, I guess. Oh man, that was an exhausting 60 minute battle, but I think we finally did it. A glorious victory for Rome, a close victory, but a victory nonetheless. Man, we were outnumbered significantly, and yet we came out on top. Look at that, over 60 minutes, whew. But Rome is great, Rome will prosper. In all seriousness, this, in all seriousness, guys, uh, it's an early access build, so you know bugs are likely, as as I explained early on. Um, but yes, we managed to hold on to Ostia. We killed, uh, we actually destroyed a handful of units by ramming their ships, and got a fair bit of slinger fire in there as well. And just for coming to Ostia like this, just for even threatening the lives of good Romans, we will kill every captive and send them away. The survivors, I mean. All right, beautiful, beautiful. That's what being a great general is about. Now, let's go up over here and see what's going on. We are taking some attrition, which I do not like, of course, so that does make me a little bit more tempted to push in and actually hit Vey over here. I'll probably auto-resolve that, actually, but I would like to show off a nice siege battle. We'll take one more turn to get this siege tower going, so we'll continue that siege for one more turn, and actually, hmm. I wonder if I'm taking a risk by leaving Ostia open for another assault here, because I, I don't know if I'll be able to hold them off again, to be honest. Um, the mountain men back here. Antium is right there. Do they have more settlements? Wow. They've got three settlements. They might have another big army somewhere nearby. Honestly, a little concerned. Maybe we just roll in with what we have, not wait for this other siege tower, and then we can turn back down south and return home and protect home. We should be fine. Oh, we should be more than fine. You know what? There'll be more siege battles to come uh, in the next episode, and that's going to be tomorrow. So we're just going to auto-resolve this one, and hopefully we don't take too much of a beating. We will fight aggressively, of course. Yes, we will fight very aggressively. Kill them all. Take Vey. Put it under our banner. Oh, oof. I love those animations so very much. All right, there we go. Close victory. We didn't lose any units, so that's good, but we took a fair bit of damage. We will... No, we will not subjugate them. We will simply occupy. That's a lot of money. Oh, dear. That is a lot of money. Settlement... But the buildings will be damaged. You know what? I don't need money that badly. We're in an okay spot. No, to hell with it. We have to replace the buildings anyway. Loot! Ooh, Imperium, your power knows no bounds. You can now maintain additional armies, fleets, and agents, and issue more provincial edicts. So uh, we can actually have four armies if our finances allow us to do so. Uh, and we can also get three edicts going per turn. Faction destroyed. Vey has 
lost. My forces have trampled this faction into the dust. Glory for Rome. It'll take us quite some time to replenish, actually. Uh, but hopefully next turn we'll be able to get down to Roma and maybe we can blend, merge some of these units together. They're like similarly ranked and stuff, so we shouldn't be losing too much ground. And then we can recruit some more at Roma here. All right, good stuff. Hit that end turn. Nope. First. Let's repair or rather replace. Wow, it's expensive. I have to repair it first, eh? Poof. In that case, let's just replace this stuff first. Start making money a little bit faster. More money sooner. I uh, just have to dismantle you at a cost of a thousand. That's unfortunate. But you, I can convert what will give us more wealth. It seems as though the civil port will. That makes sense. More food, more money, more income from trade agreements, which we should try to make if, you know, if we aren't entirely surrounded by enemies. There we go. That's like all of our money gone. And this, I, I guess, will have to repair you first. Or I can just dismantle you first. No, wait. I mean, yeah. It's cheaper. No, 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 we're not. There we go. Wow, all of our money just like that, gone. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I looted it. Definitely worth it. That's the turn, though. No, it's not. Uh, edict, right, of course. We have an edict. Let us get more money, perhaps. Public order. Oh, there's gonna be a rebellion next turn. We should maybe look at that. We should maybe look at that. Let's go with that. And over here, negative 14. What are we on right now? Food and public order? I need to do something about public order. That has always been my... My weakness. As many of you already know, I'm sure. That, is, that has always been my weakness. Public order. It always comes back to bite me. Alright, one more level of strategist, perhaps. Melee defense for all units. More gravitas per turn. More cunning. Where do we go with this? Uh, oh, higher replenishment rate. You know what? I need that right here, right now. I might just do that. Plus 4% replenishment rate for all units versus plus 6%. We'll get the plus 6% first. We'll get the plus 4% later. All is well. Let's move on. All right. What have you got for me? There they come again. You know, this time we can auto-resolve it. Let's try it. Let's... Let's... Oh, I'm so scared the AI is going to cack this up. Protective stance. Close victory, I'll take it. And once more, kill every last one of them. Leave, be gone, do not return. For I am coming your way, alright? There's a rebellion over here. Iron over bronze is done. Edict cancelled. Yeah, of course. Oh dear, now we gotta get all the way down here. That's fine. That's fine. We can pull into Rome first and then go there after. Because what we can do if we do that... Yeah, let's pull into Rome first. Rush you down. Let's get you into that army as well, I think. First off, let's merge you two. And, oh. Away with you. And let's merge you two as well. No, let's recruit instead. Alright, so we've got one spot. Anything else we can merge? We've got these guys. We'll have to disband one anyway. Alright, so let's recruit... The cavalry that we just removed, it'll take two turns to replenish these guys to full health, I think. Yeah, but at one turn of replenishment, we'll be fine enough to move in, I think. So that'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. These guys will probably come back yet again, and hopefully we will be able to stay up, stay on top. You know what? Nah, I won't be able to get in there. Won't be able to get in there. So, let's go in with the Italian cavalry. Pick our research, and let's go ahead and get... Ooh, ooh. That sounds nice to me. Yeah, here we go again, as is tradition with me. Just uh, going down the red path. Because it's sugary sweet. Canadians. Canadians will know what I'm talking about. At least Torontonians. Alright, what are we doing here? They finally fall back. Thank 
the Lord. Ooh, Carthaginian politician. A man is brought before you. He is accused of killing a Carthaginian official. However, he offers a sizable monetary contribution in return for assurance of his safety. What shall we do? Give sanctuary or surrender him to Carthage? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We will give this man sanctuary. There's no reason to give him up to Carthage. He has done a good deed as far as I'm concerned. And a purse full of gold is worth a few furrowed brows in distant Carthage for sure. They won't get too salty. Not for a little while, at least. All right. Another rebellion going on. That's fine. We're okay. I mean, they still have to hit us if, uh, if they want to get anything over here. A lot of money, not too much coming in though. Let's do something about that. Let's get our economy working out here. Uh, so this adds 100 wealth, which I wouldn't mind. 50 wealth. Let's go ahead and build a suburbia. And back over here, anything we can do? We don't have the tech for it, unfortunately. Modern cities, I should really look into some of our civic tech. <laughs> a pig in honor of Ceres? <laughs> Fair enough. I need to start making more money quick. All right, for now, though, let's move into Sisra here. I can't imagine this should be too difficult for us. Wasted all my time and money fixing the city up, and this is how you repay me. Oh, easy enough. Aggressively, and we will kill them all. You know, if given the chance, which we aren't. I don't think I need to loot them. We will simply occupy having enough public order struggles here. Military traditions rank three. <laughs> they have been destroyed once more. They will try and try again, I'm sure, but uh, it will they're just not good enough. All right, now we can get negative uh, five native unit recruitment cost, barbarian subjugators, stalwart defenders, indomitable infantry, plus four percent melee attack, plus four percent melee defense, pretty solid, unrelenting force, better campaign movement range, and charge bonus increase. Okay, or we can upgrade this for even more missile damage and more shots per minute. What I'm going to do first is get the indomitable infantry, and then we can level both of these up. That kind of expresses our army, I think, well enough. Uh, and in two turns, again, we will be fully replenished, but we're not going to wait for that. We're going to move in to these Etruscan rebels as soon as possible and eliminate them. Let's see if we can't upgrade Marcus Fusus a bit more with an assassination over here. What are our chances? 10% uh, chance of being wounded, so I'll take it. Damn, that's fine. We didn't die. That's all that matters. We did increase in rank as well, so that's good too. I will take it. Let's see. Plus 10% chance of wounding enemy self-defense. Better line of sight. No, no, no. No need. I did like this. And I like this as well. We didn't even use it, actually, which is funny. It's funny how things work out. All right. This could give us experience rank for native recruits in local province while deployed. Okay. Unlocks rally slaves action. Harass. Um... Oh, what the... I don't like that. <laughs> Terrifying. Unlocks demoralize army. You know, let's maybe stick with another step of Drill Sergeant and continue to use him as a Drill Sergeant. Yeah, let's do that. We'll pull him back down here. Soon enough. Soon enough. And we have to crush this rebellion first, I think, before we can turn our attention to the south. Still not making enough money per turn to actually justify... A uh, second army. Let's dismantle these right now. And let's get our edict here for uh, public order. The 20 is good for now, but that's just because we just crushed a rebellion, but it's not going to last forever. Let's see if our enemies to the south push north once more. They might. Ooh, new objective. All right, the Latin people are our cousins. The people of the mountains, on the other hand, are more of a pain in the neck than an itch. They both hold territories in immediate proximity to Rome. Obviously, it is in their interests to partner with us and be a protective buffer. So completely control four provinces either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. I will get a spy as a reward. Cool. Ah, damn it. And what's this? All right, successful mission. Hold two provinces. What was the bonus objective? I thought I... Uh, oh, sure. And I got a patrician as a reward. Assassination plot. A spy tells you that a politician from a rival party is plotting your assassination. What do we do? Hire bodyguards. Find out what happens next turn. Jail the suspect or promote the suspect. 
Mm, hire bodyguards. We don't know if the allegations are true. Just to throw him in jail will make us look paranoid. Hiring bodyguards, it's a natural thing to do. And promoting him, that's just foolish. So, hire bodyguards. All right, there's a Carthaginian politician. The money flows easily into the treasury, and the man finds his way to a distant land far beyond Carthage's reach. The Carthaginians learn of this scheming, however, and their ire is great. Oh, dear. That's okay. I need the money more than their happiness. I don't care for them after all. Now, do we move up here and eliminate this rebellion before it grows too strong? It's got chariots and cavalry and all sorts of things. I wouldn't want it to survive for far too long. Because I don't know if I'm concerned about my enemies to the south just yet. They are clearly licking their wounds. They've taken a fair bit of damage. Oh, the Warriors of Glory. You should change your name, buddy. Nonetheless, we'll find out what I do next, next time on this series, and that will be tomorrow again. Trying to release daily episodes until the DLC drops on the 9th. Uh, if you guys are enjoying and you would like to see more, let me know down below with a comment and a like. It makes a big difference in my decision-making process, especially since I am going back to an older game with Rome 2. I hope you guys had a good time as always. A massive thanks as well to all of my patrons who support this channel and keep it going on a month-to-month -month basis. It really helps keep the channel alive, running smoothly. And a big thanks to you all for watching as well. Till next time, cheers.